Another common way of manipulating or viewing the data differently is using filters where you can narrow down to see only the information that you want to see in your list. So let's say we want to only view the list of books by Mahatma Gandhi. So we can choose the data set and including the headers and then I am we are in the data ribbon now and in the data ribbon you have this filter button and that will work so if I click that then you will see these arrows pop up and that's nothing but these are the filter options so I can now choose for example click here on uh, next to authors and then this opens up the drop down menu and it will show me the list of all unique values in this authors column in our data set and you can see here that Mahatma Gandhi only appears once and that's because even though um, there are multiple books it only shows up once and because this is a list of unique or distinct values in this column so let me choose for example unselect select all because I don't want to see all of the author's books and I want to see only Mahatma Gandhi I will select Mahatma Gandhi and then click OK and now only Mahatma Gandhi's books will be shown to us and what is happening here is that Excel is hiding the other rows of data so Excel is hiding other authors rows of data and here you can see that by looking at the row numbers row number three is hidden five is hidden seven and eight are hidden so that tells us that the data hasn't gone anywhere it is just hidden from our view and this is something which you have to be very careful when you have other data sets or other data that you have typed in in other columns away from your data set then when you are hiding the row that data may also be impacted that will also be hidden so please make sure that if you're doing such operations, the best would be make sure that your data set is the only thing in your worksheet. That would make sure that this is not impacting any of the other data that you may have in this worksheet. You can also apply multiple filters at the same time. So we've already filtered by author as Mahatma Gandhi. Let's say I want to filter also by book type to see only the ebook version so i will unselect or deselect these other two options and then only ebook is now selected and i hit ok and only the ebooks will be appearing let me go back and undo or if i don't want this filter anymore i can go and say clear filter from book type and that will remove this and i can also do clear filter from authors and that will remove that as well so we're still in the filtering menu mode so because you can see all these things and if you don't want this anymore you can click this filter button again and these filters would go away if i want them again i can click again then i would get them back and now i can use it to filter my data i can also use the sort options available here this is very convenient so that i can sort for example by author name and that will be sorted and then I can apply my filter to do let's say I want to choose only Jawaharlal Nehru and this is very convenient within Jawaharlal Nehru's books if I want to sort by the purchase price I will go here and then say largest to smallest and now we have this descending order so when you have a lot of books or a lot of records and if you want to narrow down to the ones that you're interested in to see what data they have then it is very very convenient so we use this filter option here in the data ribbon to do all of this but you can also go to the home ribbon and if you this is where you work most of the time the filter option is also available here it just takes an extra click to come here and then do filter and then you can clear the filter by clicking clear and that would remove all the filters that you have applied in this data set but you are still in the filter mode it is just clearing the options that you have selected so if i want to completely go away from this filter mode then click this and that would move you away from filter mode i'm going to put it back on let's go to the home ribbon and let's come here and you're still in the filter mode and if you click that again and now you remove the filter mode so basically it's a toggle you can switch it on or switch it off 
and if you have it switched on and then if you've already selected some filter let's say i have filtered hardcover i have also filtered by um, let me choose author and now we have these filters applied to this data set and you can see how the filters have been applied by looking at this little icon here which has a little downward arrow this tells us that a filter has been applied in this column a filter has been applied in this column but these other columns don't have those arrows because there are no filters applied based on those other columns so this is very convenient and easy for you to see where the filtering is happening and if you want to clear all the filters quickly go here and say clear and that would clear all the filters but if you just want to get out of the filter mode then click filter again and now you're back so click anywhere now if i want to go back to my original order in which the data was i will select all of them i'll do custom sort and then i will do product id smallest to largest and that will put me back in the same order that i had before we started 